I've always wanted to improve my bottom a little bit. Um, I'm quite slim, so I struggle in that area. Yeah. And I don't, I've got a one-year-old, so I struggle to get to the gym a lot. And even when I do, I struggle to build it. So this seems like a good idea to, it's not a quick fix, but it's something that I can do with the time I've got. So when I start injecting around this area, mm -hmm. it'll hurt a bit more. But that's fine. If I don't want to all of a sudden have hips and be curvy because that's not my shape, yeah. but I'm quite straight up, straight down. But what I want is sort of the top part of my bum. When I run my hand down my back, I can't feel where my bum starts, so I'd like it to come out at least a little bit. Yeah. I think if I do this, it will improve my confidence a little bit. I think it'll be nice just to feel like my bum matches the rest of my body because I've got no problems with the rest of my body. Yeah. So it's just that area that lets me down, I feel. So I think it would give me a boost that I can take pictures from the back as well as <laughs> the front. I mean, yeah, I can feel, obviously. You can feel, feel it. a pinch when it's going yeah. in. And then a, a, a tingle in. Yeah. Um, slight sting, but... Nothing drastic. Nothing that's bothering me particularly. Yeah. I think it's not going to be the biggest change in the world. It's not something that, you know, I cry over every night. Yeah. It really, really bothers me. But it is something that you don't realise when you go on holiday, when you try clothes on, which is quite regularly, really. You look at it and think, oh, I wish that was better. Yeah, so I think it like will have a bikini. Yeah, yeah. So, and I go on holiday quite a lot, so I do think it will have quite a big difference on me. So once I've got the needle through there, yeah. it's a case just moving it about. I know sometimes you can feel bits of me moving it. But it's not as painful, not really no it honestly just there. feels like little injections yeah. it doesn't feel like I'm having anything deep or Good. or a lot of anything yeah I've done a lot of research before I've decided where to come today and I could have gone to America because I know it's really big there but I have researched a lot and I wanted to go somewhere that's really well known that I trust I've looked through all the images I've spoken to Debbie and I just feel really confident that they're gonna look after me so you know with this one as we discussed um, you're not gonna see a great no. difference no no um, and obviously, as we said as well, there is a possibility of bruising. You will see the bone. So I've only had it done for five minutes now. That's probably about it. And I can't feel anything. I'm sat down now. I've got no pain. I don't feel any stinking sensation. I thought I'd be really uncomfortable for a while, but I actually wouldn't have had anything done. I thought it would, I'd be able to feel, because it's quite a deep filler, I thought I'd be able to feel it quite deep, and I thought I would feel a lot more movement inside, but I didn't at all, I just felt tiny little stings, and that was it. I think if people were thinking of having this done, I would really recommend it. I know it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but I would say if it's something that you really want to do and you've thought about it, don't be worried by any pain or discomfort, because I really didn't find it bad at all. And I can't see huge results yet, because it takes a while, but from what I can see, I'm already so pleased. Because it's my second time round, I don't feel as nervous because I know what to expect and I know it didn't hurt. So I was a bit nervous that it might hurt this time, but it's not hurting, so I'm fine. Because it, this is only my second time, I can't see a big difference yet, which I was told and I knew that. When I finished my first one, when I went home, because of the products, I could see a bit. But Debbie told me that would go down, so I knew that. So I couldn't tell a huge difference, but that's exactly what I expected. So far, so good, yeah, I'd recommend it to everyone. Again, I'm having it done now, absolutely no pain, and the second time that it's been like this. Um, I had no downtime, I was fine afterwards, so yeah, so far, so good. You're growing your own buttocks with this, so it's a more natural procedure. Um, it's stimulating your own collagen growth, where when you put in the dermal fillers in, you're getting an immediate result, um, but then you've got the downside of not being able to sit, um, for quite some time after, uh, very much similar to a BBL, really. Yeah, I would still choose non-surgical because I had no downtime afterwards. So it's just meant that I could come, get it done, go home, carry on. I've not had to have any surgery. I've not had to think about someone to look after my child. I've just been able to come in and then carry on afterwards. So non-surgical is the way for me. The volume of what I put in there, I've mixed the sculpture with sterile water. So obviously each one of these is 10 mils. So when I put the product in, then you've got the raised area, obviously, where the product's been put. But within about a few days that will have settled down. By six days you'll see nothing there. But then you've got your stimulation of your collagen growth starting at that six days. But this time it's layering over the first treatment because we've all already got that collagen growth. So after the procedure, when I went home, I was told to massage it quite a lot. Um, and my friends helped me out with that at work and my partner at home did as well. But I kept on top of that because I think if you don't follow the aftercare, you can't expect to get the results that you could have. So I've done my best to just follow everything, massage it, do exactly what I was told. And it wasn't difficult really, it took five minutes. Immediately after the treatment, it was a little bit sore, um, nothing major at all. The day after, it felt a little bit achy as if I'd been to the gym. 
but that was it. There was nothing else. I felt no pain, nothing at all, just a little bit of an ache. I could tell something had happened, but really nothing. And then the day after that, absolutely nothing at all. A week after the procedure, I really hadn't thought anything of it after the second day. Um, so a week later, there was no discomfort, there was no sign that I'd had anything done, there was no bruising, nothing at all. Really, after the second day, I just carried on as normal. Yeah. After the procedure, I waited 48 hours because I was told the aftercare, that's the best thing to do to, before you do any exercise. So I did follow that. I feel like I could have done exercise earlier if I'd wanted, but I listened to what Debbie said and I waited 48 hours and then I just went back to normal. Carried on doing the bum exercises that I've always done to try and improve it. Um, I've been told that that's the best thing to do as well, to keep working on it because it will help as well. So all I'm doing is here is making sure there's no lumps and bumps, that it's nice and smooth where I've injected and it's covered the areas that I want to cover.